So we are at the South Point Casino. We're going to go see the Gem and Glass Show, something a little different. And then we're going to eat in a Chinese restaurant that another YouTuber, when I sit there, I'll, I'll find his channel, um, said that it's like old school Chinese food. And from what I saw on his channel, it is. It, it looks like the old Egg Foo Young and all the good stuff. So we'll see where that's at. So there was a guy here that ordered um, a bunch of food at the table, Chinese food. That's why I came here, specifically for that food. Ordered a bunch of food at the table. Right, I understand that, but like I said, we're following the rule and this is our owner's When did that come? It's been since you opened up. But how come the guy got it? This other guy got a bunch of... Got... I cannot see. Who was it? I can take a look at some... His, he's a YouTuber. Okay, let me ask you a question then. If I could do that, can I get another order to go? I can't do that either. Wow, that's... I'm sorry, Okay. Which one will you want I want the uh, sweet and sour shrimp. Okay. It comes with the rice. I want fried rice. And then um, I got the spring, spring rolls. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. That server's not getting a good tip. Only because I know she's nervous and it's busy in here, but she didn't have to bring her. She could have just said I can't do it, but I guess she had a verification. It's very weird. Why would you just want one and one? It's very strange, right? Anyway, that's what it is. So we're getting the egg foo young, sweet and sour shrimp, the crispy rolls and fried rice. So we, well, I guess we'll figure out the food from there. Okay. I understand it. If it's like a, a, all you can eat, there are certain items where you can only order once per person. But this, like, this only one. in America. They come up with these fucking rules. Everybody's got a rule. you got a plan. Do you have an app? Do you have you go to the bathroom and an app, a password? It's getting just ridiculous. Why do they care how many entrees you order? You're paying for it. Anyway, I'm not going to get upset about it. That's what it is. I don't want to make a scene. We'll get thrown out, so I'll just leave it at that. These are the old school Chinese noodles. Used to get years ago. You can't find these anymore. They're really good. You cannot find these in any restaurant. Absolutely delicious. I don't know what they're made with. They're really good. Duck sauce. I think this is the plum sauce. I'm not sure. And sweet and sour. This is wasabi. The what? Wasabi. Wasabi? Wasabi, yeah. Wasabi's green. It's a different kind of wasabi. Which one? This one. The mustard? Really? It's wasabi. Oh, it was hot mustard. Mmm. <clears throat> That's hot. The sauces are really good. Uh, I'll give you different sauces. I believe, I don't know what that is, it's like a, it's almost like a combination of duck sauce and plum sauce, I'm not sure, whatever it is, the sauces are great, it's supposed to be the old school Chinese, I don't know, I'm going to see if I can find out, you know, this 
I'm not going to be able to find out from this lady. On the way out, though, <clears throat> I'll ask them and see if uh, they can give me the name of the chef. Because he's old school chef. I think he's been here for 30 years in another restaurant. I'll find out if I can get his name. This is the kind of Chinese food, we'll see how it is, that I was used to eating years ago when I grew up as a kid. Can't find it anymore. And food, is, food has changed. The evolution of food is totally different. When I was growing up, the food was fantastic. And now it's trickled down to you got to really look hard to find anything good in the food. But hopefully this will be good. Cameraman's dipping into all my sauces. He didn't ask me. What? Cameraman stealing all my sauce. Uh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> egg rolls. They're spring rolls. I call them egg rolls. This looks like the real deal. How are you doing? Good. My name's Alex. The re I'm sorry to interrupt your meal. The reason why I'm approaching you guys is because I guess I obviously you film me and you film some people and, and they're not, you know, they didn't want to be filmed. That includes personnel and other guests. Okay. They got a little power by it. Uh -huh. um, I mean, if you're filming yourself, that's one thing, but but other people do not want to be to So can we just film the table? You can film the table yourself. We weren't, we weren't filming anybody. So I got the complaint, okay. and each time something like this happens, like I have to look into I understand. It. You I, understand. Know, I have to look into both right. sides. Right. And like I said, I don't mean to interrupt your meal. So I don't like doing that. I got but scared. Yeah, <laughs> but it was called to my attention, and, and, and they don't get Okay, we'll just focus on, on the is. table. So if you don't mind, whenever you're done uh, just eating, just turn it off, just while you Oh, we'll put it away. Then. Then. Okay. And, you know. Right. Okay, thank I you. I appreciate you guys. Enjoy your meal. Okay, thank okay. you very much. Wow. Did you film that? Good. You did? That's great. <laughs> you're, you're, you're funny. Now he's going to get on camera. That's funny. I thought I was going to get arrested. I did. <laughs> It brings me back to the good old days when I, when I used to get arrested. DUIs and all that kind of stuff. Well, I got in trouble twice already from the waitress. Now the, now the police are coming. What the fuck? Anyway, guys, the egg roll is absolutely delicious, I think. Um, the inside is mostly cabbage, but what I really like is the good crunch on it. Good crunch is really, really good. Because most of the time you go into Chinese restaurants, they're um, not crispy shell. This is very crispy. Did security have to come? Couldn't the the hostess come and say something? I had to go get secured. <laughs> okay. Well, that's funny. I thought I was going to get arrested. Flashback from years ago. Put your hands behind your back, get on the ground. <laughs> I don't do that anymore. I'm too old. It may happen again, I don't know, because I have a big mail. But years ago it happened. Especially with driving. Yeah, I used to get arrested a lot. It was expunged. My father got it expunged. And everybody's looking at us because... They don't know what the hell the cops were here for. I wonder who called the cops. That's crazy. Well, bring the hostess. What are you bringing police for? Oh my god. It's insane. Go to a restaurant and have the police. Because you're filming. But we're in the US now. The land of the free. Not. I'm getting to hate Americans. I don't know what it is. Yes, the egg roll. Okay, I'm gonna rate it. And I'm coming up with a new rating scale. Um, it's gonna be the same one. Don't look at me. The girl just look at you. Walk out and give me a dirty look. What the hell is with these people? Is it me? It is. It's good. 
I'm used to getting egg rolls in Vegas that are soggy. The, the roll, very crispy, and all, it just had cabbage in it. The cabbage was very crispy, very fresh tasting. So all in all, the egg roll, yeah, 8.5. All the sauces, um, you have to beg to get sauce anywhere. You beg. They just give you all these different kinds of sauces, apricot sauce, plum sauce, duck sauce, hot mustard. He's saying this is wasabi and mustard. We never saw wasabi like that, but I learned something, I guess. Oh, so rice. Okay. And that's not as flat as when the guy ordered it. When the guy ordered it, eat Las Vegas, um, the pancake was flat. So I don't know, but. So this is even better than. No, no, no. The reason I came here was because years ago, I used to get eggs for you on. It was made like a flattened pancake, very crisp. They started making it like an omelet. And the reason I came here is because they had the flattened. This is not flattened. All right, we'll taste it anyway. Let's taste the uh, shrimp. Yeah, close up there. The shrimp. Sweet and sour shrimp. Let's taste it. It's good. I don't know if it's as good as Pho Kim Long. I said it right. Pho Kim Long. That was the best sauce ever. But let me, let me taste it again. Okay. Uh, it is not as good as Kim Pho Long. Kim Pho Long sauce. This is very sweet. Kim Pho Long sauce had a lot more vinegar in it. This does not. They need to add a little bit more vinegar. Maybe a tad more crispy too. So, Kim Pho Long, sweet and sour shrimp, still is the best. I gave that, I think, a 10 out of a 10. See how the breading is coming off of the shrimp? That should not be. It should be adhering to the shrimp completely. It's coming off of the shrimp. Okay. Oh, 7.5. I'm going to end up taking all this. This is a lot of food. This is their egg fried rice. I believe it's a vegetable. Ugh. I believe it's a vegetable fried rice, too. Okay. Give that a taste. Kim Pho Long, also, I ordered an egg fried rice. I never had this happen, but they scrambled so many eggs and put it in there. It was really delicious. That place is really good. This is good, but I was expecting a little bit more. But it is good. Rice is good. All right, egg for young. Let's try the egg for young. I'm putting the gravy on. I don't know if this is... I'm going through a thing now where I can't eat meat. I go through this every uh, couple of months. I, the, I, what they do to the cows, how they slaughter the cows, and they hang them up, and they slight, slit their throat, and then I look at them alive, happy, and living on a farm, and I, I can't eat them. And look, I'm not saying the meat isn't good, but ethically and morally, and just I just can't eat the meat. You know, it just happens to me all the time. So I'm off meat now for a while. So this is shrimp egg foo young. Danny the medic always gets people in the background on his channel. Unbeknownst to him, he doesn't know, but he always gets people in the background a lot. 
talking and everything, people looking at him, and never once has he gotten in trouble. Security or nothing. Nope, nothing. The sweet and sour shrimp is eight. It's an eight. The egg foo young, unfortunately, I wanted it really flat. I, I was going out with this guy uh, who ended up burning down my house, but that's a whole other story. One thing he did, he made great egg foo young. He made it flat. And a lot of bean sprouts. I don't know if there's bean sprouts even in here. Uh, there is. There's bean sprouts. He made it f totally flat with the gravy, with the scallions. I forgot what protein he put in, but... And years ago, also, it used to be very crisp. That's why I came here. It's not what it was pictured in the video. Let's Eat Vegas, I think, my channel. Because he presented it looked delicious. That's one of the reasons I came down. It's not bad. I'm going to give it a... 7.5. 7.5. It is good, but it's not what I'm looking for. Maybe I'll make it one day, the recipe, because I know it has to be flat for me to like it. Guys, comment below. Do you like your egg foo young flat? You guys remember what I'm talking about from years ago? You can't find it anymore. This is my last hope, and it's not. Do you like yours flat? Or you, do you like yours omelet, like an omelet, like this? This isn't quite as bad as some of the egg foo youngs I've had. Where you might as well go to IHOP and order an omelet. But it's not the flat ones I used to remember. Guys that are a little older, you remember that. So comment below how you like your egg foo young.